Well, hello everyone, Dan Herr with Dan Herr Prospecting here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope you earn your subscription today. We are back here above Harrison Lake, one of my favorite spots. This is my zen area of the province. Even when everything else is frozen out, we've got great weather here. And there are some amazing minerals. Today, we're after Garnet. So wish us luck, and I hope you enjoy. Now where we're hunting today is not down here at the lake. We're way up in the mountains, up in the snow line. I don't think we're gonna hit snow today. It's a beautiful fall day. What is it, November 18th? It is. 18th today. So we're not froze out yet from winter, but any day now. Luckily down here, it's still gorgeous. We made it to the site. Now, this is a little bit different than my garnet site, which is you know, way over there somewhere. This seems to be all in float, which means it's loose gravel, loose rocks in the dirt, rather than my site where we're breaking it off of bedrock. So what we're doing now is we're just looking through all the float and seeing if we can find any rocks showing us nice garnets. This site is different than mine in that there are really big, fully faceted, beautiful garnets here. We just have to get lucky and find the right rock. We are seeing lots and lots of evidence of garnets. Lots of garnets all over the place. We're still looking for those big, fully formed ones, but I'm sure it will happen. Big chunk of schist, just loaded in garnets. Mica schist is mostly what the garnets are formed in here. Schist. You have to be careful how you say that word. Garnets, garnets everywhere. Garnets, garnets everywhere. So my new friend here, Celeste, just found our first one with big, big garnets. Now, unfortunately, most of our equipment is still back at the truck, which is a bit of a walk away. So I can't give you a close up of this yet, but I'm sure I will be in a moment. Nice work. And a nice big rock of schist with a bunch of medium sized ones in it. Not the large, like you had another rock, but nice medium ones. Let's find one of those big, big, perfectly formed crystals. That's It'll be a, here somewhere. That's a pretty big one. That's not bad. Yeah. Here's my first one with some medium sized garnets in it. We're looking for the big ones though. Well, there's a big plate of mica. Woohoo! Most of the mica schist here is microscopic chunks of mica, little tiny plates all squished together. There's a couple of big, big plates. Very cool. Or, or just formed because water was in the mix. This is looking nice and promising. Got good garnet right there, good garnet right there, another one over there. Yeah, those are nice sizes. I like what I found here. Should I let everyone else know I like what I found here? Let's try this. Woohoo! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, not that good, but still, I got a good one. I got a gooder. So Ricky had the foresight to actually bring some tools with us on our little walk. So he's got a hammer. Let's see if I can knock off a corner. Yeah, nice garnets. That's what I'm looking for right there is specimen garnets. Little piece of uh, host with beautiful garnets poking out. And that ah, is it. Why didn't I bring my close up with me? Well, that'll be my first medium good one. And don't worry, I don't have the close up with me, but I will be taking close up shots of all of this when I get back to the truck. Well, I've been hiking through the forest looking at rocks and I've come across this great big wash. If I'm gonna find big garnets, it's gonna be in this wash. Wish me luck. So I found my rock with the first big garnet. That looks like a, a doozy. But someone tell me what I found here. What is that? Right against the garnet, some sort of yellow gemstone. Interesting. Never mind, that wasn't even a garnet. That was just pitch on the rock. That yellow was pitch. Ah. I am definitely now in the right spot. There are so many rocks with garnets in it everywhere here. Just a matter of time before I find the big one. Oh, look at this guy. Every dot you see is a garnet, and some of them are big. It's a great little cluster right there. Cluster of garnet. Loving it. How about that rock of garnets? And to give you a bit of scale, those are all one-eighth garnets through this whole rock. Maybe even a quarter. A lot of them. I see something that looks really promising underneath that big rock. Let's go over and have a look. Another big one here, but that looks really promising. Yay! 
Not quite. Someone reminded me again. What are the black crystals here? I know I asked last time I was up here. Okay, here we are. The first woohoo rock of the day. Although I woohooed over there. The second woohoo rock of the day. This one has garnets up to the size of quarters I see in it. Okay, this is what I saw. We're in a creek, so everything down here gets water worn. But this is what I saw is two garnets, one, two, that have been worn off flat. That is easily the size of a quarter. What else is in here? There's one there, nice big one. Oh, there's another one. Let's break it open and see if we have good formed ones inside. Luckily the GoPro is waterproof. It just fell in the creek. It just cracked. Have a look. I see one. I see the socket of another. There is a garnet. Oh, it's free. I can move it. Oh, yes. Okay, I'll get it out in a second, but I see a, a socket of another. She's down there. I'll see what I can do with her in a second. I'm not sure why garnets are female. Uh, well, anyhow, there's another guy right there. Now he's a guy. Ah, I don't know what I'm talking about. Garnet. And there it is, the first big one of the day. I will clean that up and show you what she looks like all cleaned up. I've decided to put the full rock into the backpack and extract these bigger ones in a more controlled environment. Don't worry, you'll see them. Where there's one, there's bound to be more. And those still had a lot of host rock stuck to the garnet. The ones I've seen come from here pop out almost perfectly clean. So we gotta find some of those. And this will be the second. Nice big garnets throughout this rock. Nice big rock. I'm gonna be able to be bashing at this for hours to get all the garnets out. Woohoo! Nice. The big ones in this rock seem to be about three eighths across, which is a really nice size. Well, in the end, that wasn't nearly as good as I thought it was. So, find a new woohoo rock. Well, filled my shoe with water, <laughs> but also found really nice garnet. And it's in a big rock. I found a really big rock of really big garnet. I've been going half an hour trying to dig it out. It's been very, very difficult. And it's starting to move now, but everything above it's starting to go with it. So I'm putting the camera on myself, just in case I bury myself. So of course we have with us today, Ricky. I don't think I've introduced him yet on camera. And I called him down here to uh, help me with this beast. As we flipped it over, oh my goodness, what we found. Big garnets all through it. Those are nice. It's too heavy for us to lift. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna try to break this open yeah. a bit. Uh, it's a good fraction yeah. yeah. Break it open, we'll give us an idea of what's inside and it'll also get pieces that we can move easier. And I don't think I've uh, introduced Evan uh, either. Hey guys. This is Evan. Thank you for inviting us out today. No worries. Anytime. This is awesome. Careful, that one's loose. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. We got you. We got you. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, these bonkers. That's literally solid. Yeah. Like good fine. All through it. Yeah. You almost went for a ride there. Almost. <laughs> I almost went with him. So this is pretty typical for me. I'm putting so much in my backpack, I can hardly lift it. A good one right there. We'll see if we can get one more chunk off this and then move on to another. Well, that rock was lucrative and I'm leaving half of it at the river. I can only carry so much weight in my backpack up that hill. And knowing me, I'll find something else I want along the way. I can do it! I can do it! Way up there. Woo! I made it to the top. Quite the climb up that wash. I started about where that big boulder is right in the water down there. But there's a lot more to be had on that way up. A lot more to be had. Check out Ricky's find. Woo! That is nice. Nice nuggy. Just broke an end off that rock that we're working on. That granite there, perfectly formed, still in the rock. That will make a great specimen. Managing to pull out a nice garnet. I think I can pop this off by hand. Yep. That will be a specimen for my website once I clean it up. 
Ricky. So boys will be boys, right Ricky? Yep. Yep. Yeah, we found a nice big rock. And we found a really deep slope. What do you think we should do with the big rock and the big slope? I don't know. <laughs> uh, it looks like Evan might have one too. And there it goes. Oh! oh big rock. Here comes Ricky. Oh, big one. It's heavy too, full of iron. This is a um, petrified Sasquatch turd. Petrified oh. Sasquatch turds. Petrified Sasquatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh she broke. Okay, I'll take that. That was oh, good. that's got another one. Oh, you're getting more? I'm a very bad. Thunk. I'm a very bad. That was a big thunk. Oh, oh right on the first. Oh, boys will be boys. The little guy wins. They keep going. Watch the whole hill. And we're not it's talking the down. rocks. <laughs> oh, I went a little further than everyone else. Can I do it too? Can I do it too? Do it. <sighs> Yay. It goes further than all of them. <laughs> Won't stop. Can't stop. That's a big one, Ricky. That is a big neat. It's, it's the right stuff, too. It's got baby garnets. Baby garnets. Hey, Rick, hit that rock. Let's break these garnets out. Oh, no, it's moss. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Runs after it. Hey, Rick, right here, buddy. Yes, there she goes. That's cool. Holy yes. Oh, yeah. made it by! Yes! Oh! oh. You see that big one move? Yeah, I totally went. I put more in the backpack. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can do this. So I'm back here in the rock shop, cutting all sorts of rocks to sell on our website. But it's time to get some of those garnets out of the rock and see what they look like. Way too loud in here to film. Gotta turn the saws off. Ah, peace and quiet. Now let's see what I actually got. It's been a month since we were up there collecting. I have been busy, busy, busy. Let's go in here and see what kind of garnets I've got. Well, quite the collection of rock I pulled out of there. A couple loose guys that will be able to be cleaned up nicely but let's see if we can pull one or two nice ones out of the rock on camera get them all cleaned up and show you the potential of what these could look like look a chair That is beautiful and that one popped out fairly clean. Some of the others I have are coming out really dirty and will take a lot of cleaning up to get those looking nice. But that is beautifully clean coming out of the rock. I think that one goes up as a specimen just like that with the host attached and all. That will be on my website just like that. Beauty. Now let's go for another. <laughs> this is fun. And this one was broken on the surface, but when it popped out, I can see three faceted edges. Those will take a little bit of grind, not grinding, but chipping to clean up properly. Oh, maybe, there we go. Just like that. And again, be a beautiful specimen. This one here will take a bit of cleanup to make it nice looking ready for sale but it will be a perfect little specimen and another popping out how about this guy i might need a more delicate chisel how many comments am i gonna get about these sandals <laughs> these slippers <laughs> Yes, these are the slippers I wear into the shop to keep the oily garbage off of my socks. Because I tend to walk out here with just socked feet otherwise. <sighs> Make all the comments you want right now. Yes, I should have safety boots on out here. I love it. They just kind of bounce out of nowhere. I didn't even see that one. It just popped out. Oh no. I broke the garnet. There's still going to be a good little specimen right there. I broke the backside off. Okay, that one didn't come out all that clean. On to the next one. Not bad on that one. Beautiful little specimen. Should probably get one of these out completely. I like it when they have the host attached still, so you can see what it was formed in, but I should get one out completely. Oh, I think I have one out. I'll clean up the one that I have out already. Now there's the best one so far. Mmm, let's give it a lick. Mmm, yummy. The taste of garnet in the morning. That is good. 
Love it. And we're going to leave that one as is on top of that chunk. Came out into the daylight just to see if daylight gives me better lighting for showing these garnets. It looks like one more good one in this rock sitting right there. Let's see what we can do. Now, one of the tricks when dealing with a schist here is it has a definite grain to it. And if you work with the grain, it breaks apart. If you try to work against the grain, it is a tough, tough rock. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to tap it over here again uh, with the grain and see if I can split it down to where the garnet is. Not tapping anywhere close to that garnet. Let's see if I can get the garnet. There's the garnet right there. I'll keep my thumb on to keep it protected. Split off the surface, but not down onto the garnet. Might need a smaller hammer here. There we go. I just felt the garnet move. Let's see what we got. Okay. It's nice. Big garnet. Nice flat surfaces. But it might have to get some more delicate tools to try to break off the schist around it now. There's all sorts of tricks I could be using here on a soft bed. All sorts of things I could be doing. And I will go to those if I think I need to in the future. If you work on a piece of leather, protects it. Oh, this is coming out perfect though. You just gotta get that off the surface and we're good. I think I'm gonna leave that as a specimen just like that after I clean up that surface. And the twofer, two on one. The terrible light in my garage here does not do this justice of the color of these red garnets. They look kind of black in here but they are definitely red. I wonder if I can get a light to pass through them to show you. And another beautiful specimen. Well, that's the first rock completely dealt with. And we've got all those specimens from it. Let's move on to the next one. There's a big one that just popped out. They're dirty. Hopefully they clean up nicely. And another beast. I'll be very intrigued to see what these things clean up like. And a cute little one. Well, it just kind of exploded in my hand here. Let's see what it looks like. Is that one? There's one right there. Really nice facet on that one. But the one that I'm intrigued with is right there. Look at that beast. Two nice garnets. I have a lot of cleanup to do. I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna take that pan of garnets to the shop and clean them up and see what they look like. Now my thought was to take these into the shop, the lapidary shop, and do some manual polishing of each of the garnets, make them shine them up, clean them up. But I'm thinking of trying my vibratory tumbler. This is a rock tumbler for polishing rocks. It's not really a tumbler, it doesn't tumble, it just shakes and vibrates. And I'm thinking of trying that on one or two pieces. We'll just throw in one or two little guys, run that for a couple hours and see what it looks like. If it looks like that will clean them up without the manual hard work of actually going and manually cleaning them, that would be awesome. Now as a media in here, I have these little green pyramids. Let's clean off some of those little green pyramids that are abrasive. Now I don't know the hardness of this abrasiveness. It will definitely take the schist off. I'm just hoping it doesn't mark up the garnets themselves. And I have been told when doing something like this with garnets and schist and you don't want to mark up the garnets to put lots of buffer in there. And what I'm going to use for buffer is some tumbled chips of penolite. I sent a whole bunch of material overseas to get processed into spheres, towers, palm stones, that kind of stuff. And I asked them to make the chips, the leftover pieces, into polished chips. Now, I didn't expect them to do the penal light because penal light doesn't look like much. It's nothing. Unlike the ocean picture stone and jade and stuff, this stuff really isn't good for much. But because it's a soft stone, about the same as a marble, it won't mark up the garnets at all. And if I use that as a buffer in there, it will help cushion the garnets from rubbing against each other and marking each other up. Plus, it will help erode away some of the schist from around the garnets. So I'm hoping with the little triangles and that buffer material that these will come out looking great. So let's give this a shot. We'll throw a couple in. 
I might even throw this big one in and see what happens. And, hmm, which other one? Throw those two in. Okay, there's four in the, oh, I need one of the big guys. Let's put that guy in. There's five in there. We'll let that vibrate for an hour. Mm, too much water. I need more buffer material. Okay, let's put the lid on that. See what it looks like. Maybe, maybe put the lid on that. <laughs> Try that. Uh, there we go. Ooh. Probably should be trying this while well, it's turned on. running for four hours. Let's check out what it looks like. the first one and it's looking good the big guy's getting there cleaning up actually quite nicely but looks like it would need a lot more time before it's right clean I'm gonna leave that in for a bit yes this is working again this one needs more time but this is working nicely to clean these oops left one of my garnets and schists from my last run in here I thought I'd clear cleaned all those out my last run in the tumbler, I was cleaning up these garnets and schists. These are small garnets in a mica schist. Let's get a good close-up shot of those. These are the typical ones I see from my claim. My claim that I've uh, worked at a lot in the past. These garnets and schists, I've got lots of them before. Now I'm playing with the big stuff. If you want any of these, I've got these on my website too. Anyhow, there should be a couple more of those bigger ones in the tumbler. Let's go find them. There we be. This is the way to clean them up. Well, that looks to be it for the test pieces in here. I don't see any more, but I sure like the look of what I got. I actually found a bunch more of my micro specimens of garnets and schist that I didn't grab out the last time, plus all the pieces I put in there. I like the way this is working. I think it needs a bit more time. I left it for four hours. I'm thinking 12 hours are probably going to be perfect. I am going to throw the rest in and clean them up this way because I sure like that. Now we're going to have to leave it there for today. If you want to see the results of what those look like after tumbling for 12 hours, you'll have to check back to my Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok accounts and see the results. I will be posting lots of pictures there. And remember, I do post lots of content to those other accounts that don't necessarily make it onto YouTube. So make sure you're following me on my social media. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me that thumbs up. If I haven't earned your subscription yet, I hope I earned it today. And a big thanks to everyone for watching, especially my patrons. Hope you're all having a great day. And until the next one, bye.